Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. There's the saying, a child who reads will be an adult who thinks. Our next guest is Olubumi Aboder in Tel Aviv. She's an author, publisher, and the founder of Clever Clogs Books. Last month, she unveiled three Nigerian-themed children picture books titled Toby Visits the Conservatory, Cobb the Antelope, and Diary of a Toddler. And we're going to be discussing the inspiration behind those books, a reading YouTube channel, and her role as chairperson of the Wimby's Executive Council Board of Trustees. Welcome to The Morning Show. Welcome. Good morning, ladies. Good it's morning. so lovely to be with it's you. It's great, it's to, great have to have you here. here. You do it all. <laughs> yeah, you do. You do it all. <laughs> You're also on the board of Punch Newspapers. Exactly. <laughs> like, how do you do it all? Oh, with a lot of prayer and very little <laughs> sleep. <laughs> very little sleep. How yes. much sleep do you get? Oh, not enough. You know, I heard this gentleman called How to Grow... Uh, uh, um, I can't remember his name, but the speech was called How to Grow Your Brain. And one of the things he said you needed to do was to sleep at least six and a half hours a day. And I've been trying desperately to reach that six and a half hour oh, mark. Oh, but wow. so far, you know, I haven't, I haven't quite succeeded. But I'll keep at it. Okay, okay. So we're talking to Mrs. Adarija earlier. And yes. She, spoke like beautifully about Wimbiz and we're just going to touch on Wimbiz a yes, bit. Yes, absolutely. Now you are executive. Okay, You're so the chairperson. Wimbiz, yes, okay. Wimbiz has um, a very unique um, structure. We have the board of trustees who are the founders um, of Wimbiz, uh, 13 wonderful ladies and a gentleman um, who started Wimbiz uh, 17 odd years ago and most of them are still um, serving as trustees till today. And then under them, we have the executive council. And I am currently, I have the privilege of being the um, chairperson of the executive council. So what we do is we implement the vision handed down by the board of trustees and we oversee the activities of the secretariat, which is headed by the very able uh, Mrs. Hansato Adigbita, who was also on this show, I believe, a couple of weeks ago. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Interesting. Okay. Well, you're making me want to join Wimbe. Oh, you, you absolutely have to. It's, it's a fabulous organization that seeks to empower, inspire, connect, and um, advocate for women. And we really do that. We have um, at least 18 programs. Most of them run annually. Um, some of my favorites are the Wimboard program. Um, and that is to help get more women on boards, both publicly listed companies, private companies, NGOs, and so on. We also have the Big Sister program, which I know that Adiruju yeah. um, mentioned earlier, and that's when we go into public schools and we talk to girls between the ages of 11 and 16, you know, and teach them about self-confidence and how to handle peer pressure and personal hygiene and financial literacy yeah. and so on and so forth. And um, one of the platforms that actually got me um, really involved in Wimbiz is the roundtable lunches. And I'd like to invite you ladies to come and join us okay. um, <laughs> for our roundtable lunches. They take place in Lagos, Port Harcourt, Abuja and Dibado. We have one coming up in Lagos on May the 3rd, um, and um, it's usually um, on the island. We're actually going to expand and start doing roundtable in Ikeja very oh, soon. Great. So we'll nice. be having roundtable in two locations to make it easier for people to come out for yes, lunch and go back you. to work. Yeah. So at roundtables, you get a chance to meet a cross-section of Wimbiz Associates and new members, and you get an idea, a look, you know, and a feel of what... Um, Wimbiz is all about. So, you know, I just started attending one round table after another after another, and then I joined a committee, I volunteered, and then from there, just <laughs> one thing one led to another. Yeah. You know, and of course, we have our big events, the annual lecture, yeah, the yeah. annual conference, and so on and so forth. Yeah. So it'd be great to see you guys. Oh, yeah, okay. definitely. We <laughs> just <laughs> sold that. We yeah, we really just sold that to us right now. So okay. let's talk about your passion for writing oh, and yes. books. These are beautiful books. Thank yeah. you. When it, yeah, yeah. <laughs> When did you um, when did you realize you had a passion for writing first? Okay, thing? so apparently it turns out that um, I've always been able to write, but for whatever reason I never actualized it, and it was galvanized by two things. One, um, an editor from Punch, you know, told me, you know, you know, you're actually gifted, you can actually do this, mm -hmm. and so you know, I wrote for him a couple of pieces, usually opinion pieces and whatever, and they got published and they got picked up by other papers, and et cetera. And the other thing that galvanized me was Wimbiz, to be honest with you. One day Wimbiz says, oh, hello, you know, I was misabordering back then. Miss Abordering, we'd like you to write for us, you know, a story about, you know, women and why it's important to have women involved in leadership. And I was like, okay. So I wrote an article called um, Nigeria's Greatest Natural Resource. And it was all about why it's important to have more women involved at all levels of leadership because of the things that we bring on board. Women that are capable and competent, you know, and have good character and so on and so forth. Um, and so from there, the jump into books occurred when I took uh, a sabbatical from work. Um, I needed time just to spend with my family, just to breathe and catch up with so many things. 
And um, my daughter and I, we, we, um, we like bedtime story time. So we've been reading to, to, to her since she was a, 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 before she was a toddler, before she was one. And um, we keep looking for Nigerian books. We mm. wanted more books that featured Nigerian characters that showed our environment and so on and so forth. And there are some, and there's some great ones, but they're not enough. Mm. And you know, we read every night, so we quickly run out of books, sometimes three, four books a night. Um, so I decided to start writing for her. So I was writing, writing. Then later on, I thought, well, you know, why not publish? And so these are the first three to come out. Toby Visits the Conservatory, yeah. Diary of a Toddler, and Cobb the Antelope. Um, so yeah, that's basically how I started writing children's wow. picture books. Yeah. And it's so funny because I had this conversation just last week about the days of Tales by Moonlight and the days of Storyland. And we don't have those anymore, you know. We used to listen to those Nigerian stories, mm -hmm. the touches and the antelope, yes, the, yes, yes. the hair, and like yeah, yeah. all these beautiful stories, and yeah. somehow they just disappeared. disappeared. So what do you think this is doing for our culture? Well, hopefully it will revive um, the notion of reading to children. I, I'm hoping that Nigeria will become a country that recognizes the value of bedtime stories. You know, as mundane and as domestic and as basic as it sounds, it actually has great value um, in terms of what it does to the cognitive development of children. Um, between the ages of uh, zero and five, children are like sponges. They learn, they absorb so fast. And that is really the best time to teach them your values, teach them your culture, give them a sense of um, what it is to be a productive citizen. I know you may think, well, the person is under yeah. five, but <laughs> you know, the earlier you start, the better. And what I've realized is that a lot of books from, you know, from other countries, from England, from America, whatever, a lot of the writers, um, <laughs> I, I'm hesitating whether or not to share a particular story with you because one of my favorite children's um, English language children's picture books, story writers, is actually a lady from England who is prolific. Um, anyone who's in the industry you know, knows her. Her books are very famous. And... Um, <laughs> Did I get that right? Sorry? Was it, is it Annie Blyton? No, 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 no. It's actually Julia Donaldson. I've said her name. Okay, okay. it's Julia Donaldson. She wrote The Gruffalo and, uh, and, um, and The Smartest Giant in Town and, and other stories like that. And there's one book in particular that she wrote called Jack and the Flum Flum Tree. And when I read that book, you know, it, it made me pause to think because what I realized was that, yes, there's a story, mm. but then there was a substory, there was a subtext. Mm. And the subtext, you know, I didn't particularly like the subtext yeah. and I wasn't particularly sure that it was the healthiest way for our children to see themselves. So I thought, you know what, we really need to have, you know, picture books for children that show people who look like them, yeah. you know, who are as capable and as wonderful and as intelligent, you know, and as loved and as loving as they are. Right. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to yeah, write. Amazing. And you've done a great job. <laughs> like, yeah, the, 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 in the here. quality is fantastic, I must yeah. say, because I had a friend that asked me to get books from the US for her daughter. And I was wondering, why would you want me to get books from the US? I've been to Terraculture and I've seen the books there. And um, they're amazing. Why would you want that? And she said yeah. to me, oh, sometimes the English isn't really good. And I said, wow. <laughs> OK, mm. what do you have to say about parents? Well, that... All I can say is that um, Clever Clogs Books hopes to address that and change that. We want Nigerian books to be known um, for their quality, um, for a high standard in terms of uh, grammar, in terms of um, acumen and so on and so forth. We want to move beyond the basic ABCs yeah. because what I find is that children will expand to um, whatever level you take them. So if you keep them at ABC, you know, A is for Apple all the time, you're actually depriving them. Right. Um, so we are going to continue in the pursuit of producing beautifully illustrated, mm. you know, Shame interesting, here. inspiring stories set in Nigeria um, that can be enjoyed by not only African children, but children around the world. Right. Uh, and yeah. now we know that um, a lot of children are always on their phones, you know. Yep. So children yes. are on their phones, children are watching <laughs> iPads, TV, children are yeah. on their iPads, all of that. Any plans to convert these to cartoons? I would absolutely love that. I would love to work in collaboration with um, people who have the skill and the know-how. Um, my talent, I recognize now, lies in writing. I can write, I can, you know, I have the ideas, I can bring these things to life. So I'm interested in working with people who know about animation, um, because this isn't the first time somebody um, has, oh, okay. has mentioned that. Okay. But one thing that is in the pipeline is um, doing audio books, doing audio versions uh, yeah. um, of this book. You know, Min talks with a Nigerian company that wants to put Nigerian books in audio format, downloadable onto okay, um, 
Nice. Actually, no, it's audio. audio. So oh, they listen to it on their phone. Okay, because yeah. they, they because of the you, you, uh, mobile phones are ubiquitous in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. um, it's the easiest way to get things messages across. So they've come up with some software and and some ideas oh, and some technology okay. um, for putting books, Nigerian books, African books, mm -hmm. you know, um, in forms that are you know bite sized, easy to download on your mobile phone. So you can just you know yeah. plug in your earphones. And, and I'm all for that. I mean, yes, I love mm -hmm. the one on one parenting with the child, yes. but sometimes the mom needs to rest, but she still wants to yeah. play the book, yeah. so she gets to do that without reading. Yeah. Are they, yes. are they, are, are, will they ever be available as e-books? Yes, because I'm, yes, I'm, they are. They will oh, they be. Are? Excuse me. Okay. They will be very well. We're working on that as well. That's part of phase two. Okay. Um, getting them um, up on Amazon, Kindle, iTunes, yeah. iBooks, Kobo, and so on and so forth. So right now, where can we get them? Oh, right now they're in bookstores across Lagos, but also on the uh, Clever Clogs um, Instagram handle, the Clever Clogs Twitter page, and stuff like that. There's information about. Which particular stores? Am I allowed to name the yeah. stores? Oh, you can get them from Terra Culture, from Contestants, <laughs> from Pataba, which is one of my favorite bookstores in Lagos, Reading Corner, another excellent um, purpose built children's bookstore um, in Ikoi. Nice. Pataba is in Suruleri, Adenura Ogunsoya Mall, um, Glendora in Ikeja, Lashe Bookstore in Ilupeju, and, and many other um, bookstores across Lagos. Also, um, they're available from some schools, um, some schools like As them. Well. and. Um, Amazing. And, and carry yeah. It's yeah. been great, great talking yeah. to you. Yay. Well done. Well Thank done. I look forward to the cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but don't forget well, the YouTube page as well. Oh, the, the YouTube, YouTube okay. read along page where I read stories from different oh, authors fantastic. from around yeah. the world for children who just want to listen to us or for parents who are too tired to read bedtime mm -hmm. stories. Yeah. And what, just, what's, what's the channel? It's called Picture Book Story Time. Picture book, Picture book story time story on YouTube. Time well on YouTube. done. Well Thank done. You. Well, we are going on a short break now. Next up, we're talking improving literacy among Nigerian children on our take. Stay tuned.